Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Practice project ideas. EMI calculator. What are the objectives of EMI calculator? Design, development, demonstration, and the application uses. Now, before we get into this in detail, let's first see what is an EMI calculator actually. EMI stands for Equated Monthly Installments, which is also known as Mortgage Calculator or Loan Calculator. Basically, when we deal with some loan installation and borrowing the money from bank, EMI is a fixed payment amount made by a borrower to a lender at a specific period of time. Now, the formula for EMI is it's like this P is for loan amount that was borrowed R is the rate of interest and multiplied by 1 plus rate of interest in the power of N which is tenure of repayment divided by 1 plus rate powered by N um, that is tenure of repayment and subtracted by 1 so all we need to implement this particular formula in getting the equated monthly installment this particular quantity or identity can be used many places like while well, taking a home loan car loan personal loan education loan and many more which is provided by all kind of banks these days and financial services now let's take a look at the objective of this application the EMI calculator or mortgage calculator is going to be implemented in two ways. One is offline where we are going to use it in Java, simple AWT, Swing API. And here we won't be needed any kind of server deployment. So no server deployment needed. In case of online, we need to have server and we are going to use it with Java based web application development or programming languages like Java server pages, HTML, JavaScript and to make it more interactive, you can use CSS style sheet. Now let's take a look at the offline EMI calculator first. So what is going to happen here? As we have seen, we need to implement the formula for EMI, which is nothing but the principal in multiplied by rate of interest and uh, N is your tenure of repayment. So here we can see first we need to create a frame J frame with the help of the swing API. And this is nothing but the J text field, which is specified by some object or some variable it contains so it is giving the value of p and amount that is nothing with the principal rate of interest is r and number of years that is or nothing but the n so once you mention these three parameters it will be calculated and return it the monthly payment value now this value will be com uh, calculated with the help of the action perform method we are going to override this method and implementing this formula using the MAT API. And calculate is nothing but the J button. Once you click on it, it will give you the result. So this is nothing but the simple offline EMI calculator implemented in Java Swing API. Now let's take a look at the online EMI calculator implementation. So in this case, we have to first create a web application and inside that web application you need to have an html and this html include your jsp and that jsp will consist of all kind of processing that will make it easy otherwise you will need to code separately and it will be difficult to add more features so creating an html and including jsp will give you one of the feature in your complete application to include so let's have a jsp which contains this process so loan and amount is one of the variable or the parameter we need to get it from the user which will be in the text field in html um, 
and we are going to get it from the HTML rate of interest R and the n number of years using math library n and this will be calculated in a JavaScript method. Now when the user click on calculate, the calculate button will carry the will call the method from the JavaScript and after processing it will return the value and this will print it here. So this is what the implementation of online EMI mod cage calculator. Now let's take a look at the demonstration. So this is my Eclipse IDE and let's first take a look at the loan or EMI or mod gauge calculator offline application, offline loan calculator application. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to include or implement the action listener interface because we are going to process the formula. And here you can see we have created the panel text fields, completion the panel and we have loan label for the label mentioning the field values j text by field and the j button to check out the calculation now as you can see here it's all mentioning the table and label and panel and the text field this will create a complete form and once the form is done then action perform method will include all your implementation of the formula for EMI so you can see loan the thing but the principle the amount loan amount years is your value of n the number of years rate of interest is for R and double the rate divided by 1200 and uh, months is for 12 multiplication by and math dot power so this is what the formula we are getting it from the math API now once this is done then once this is done then this will method will get the values and print it in the calculate button now let's take a look at the execution here you see TechCrunch EMI calculator now if I give any value some loan amount and for number of years 3 and rate of percent is 2 so and I click on calculate this will be the monthly payment for a loan applicant has to give so this is what the offline EMI calculator Java application implemented in swing API now let's take a look at online loan calculator so this is my online EMI calculator web application which is and this is my JSP and uh, you can simply call it TechCrunch EMI calculator. So once you enter some values and this is interest rate and calculate. So this is the EMI value. You can precise it by using some precision method and uh, reset you can reset it and suppose i mentioned something nothing then incomplete data so you can reset again and give some values some random values you can give even that will also work here so you can see so this is online TechCrunch online EMI calculator implemented in JSP with and JavaScript all kind of Java based web programming language. Now let's take a look at the usage of these type of applications. God, when we apply for the loan, banking service is going to calculate your EMI for, for loan applicant. So this is most useful in banking services, financial services to provide limited loan after authorization. They need to calculate the EMI, how much is going to be and how much you can afford it. Social security for credit score calculation. They might cast credit score of a loan applicant and individual loan seeker to maintain the credibility. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting practice project idea. Let's make coding fun. Thank you.